So today we are working on getting the lower US dash out of this car. I'm gonna be using some simple tools. We got a Phillips right here, something simple which is for these screws behind the trim pieces right there. And there's some, four, a few more along that right there. We got a pick. I had to use this pick right here already to get a cover off of right here. It's really tiny, really easy to get off with a pick. No big deal. And then I got some trim tools right here, some metal trim tools by Matco. Uh, these things are awesome. Love using them on the trim pieces. It makes it super easy to get off. And you know, these things are pretty simple already, but it makes it makes the job way easier. So I'm gonna be doing that. We're gonna start off by removing all the wood trim. I've already done the one, but I'll do the rest. So I'll put it on a time lapse and get it going. All right, now once that's done, you can see all these screws right here. They do all have to come out. So we'll go ahead and drop those out and I'll also get off these side screws. There's one on each side of the dash right here. There's also one on that side. Um, I'm not going to show, but they are in the same exact spot. So I've got to get those covers off and they'll, you'll find them. So I'll go ahead and get those off now. So I went ahead and got all those screws out. No more all the way alongside the front and got that screw on the side. Now I've already uninstalled it on this car, but there will be a panel right here. It's not there now because I've already taken it out previously, but on that panel, there are also gonna be screws alongside this and alongside the back right here, the camera angle. And you'll, be, you'll need to get those screws out as well. And it looks like I'm forgetting that last one right there. Need to get that one out. And that should be it for this side. This side's already sagging down a little bit, so ready to come out. Just gotta get that one last screw and should come out just fine. Now you got all the screws out of the front, the top and the sides. We're gonna come under here and there's this panel right here. Now, I think this one's already been pulled down a little bit. What you're gonna do is there's a little hole right here. You're just gonna put your finger in there and pull back and it just slides back. It, it might be a little stiffer for you, but just give it a good tug. It, it should come out fine. And then we're gonna undo these right here. I completely forgot about these earlier, but we will need a tool for that. I'll figure that out. And all right, so I went ahead and got some tools for it now. It is going to be a 10 millimeter for these two right here, but you wanna go ahead and get those out. All right, once those are out, in the glove box here, we've got some more screws. Imagine that, right? So you see these top screws up here, and there are a few up here on the side. You gotta get that one out, and it'll drop that cover down, and there's also one way back there. But we'll get to that momentarily. First, we have to pop out the hinge right here in the glove box so we can get this glove box out, which was a part of what we just did getting those bolts out. So normally for these, there's normally a little like clip on this that connects it to the actual glove box. There's also one on this side, it's right there, but this one, this glove box particularly was missing it. So I can't really show that part, but it's a pretty simple clip. Just gotta kind of pry it off. And on this one, don't forget the plug in the back for the flashlight, kind of a tricky plug. So just kind of tug on it and it should come out. Alrighty, as we're fighting with that plug for a second there, then we're gonna go ahead and remove all these screws in that side cover and right here and get those panels out of the way. We also will need to remove this side piece right here. There's gonna be a screw way back right there, another Phillips. Yours might be a eight millimeter, I believe. Some of these cars came with eight millimeters. But we're gonna take that screw out and we're gonna slide this whole piece back and it should pop out.
guess if you see a lot of that, that is normal. It's just old BMW stuff deteriorating over time. Gotta love that. But that will reveal this screw right here, which looks like an eight millimeter. It's already been pulled around it though on this particular car, which means someone's probably been in here before. But yep, gotta get that screw out and then you'll be good to go on that part of the dash. And then it's on to the radio. Alrighty, for the single DIN radios, it's pretty simple to take out. What we're gonna do is just pull this knob right off. And in there, in that little tiny hole, you'll see this car particularly has a hex nut, or not a hex nut, I'm sorry. It has a torque screw. Um, some cars are flatheads. They're, it really depends on the car. But you'll take your tool and insert it into that little slot. If I can snag it here, there we go. And you're just gonna turn it and when you turn it counterclockwise, it's just gonna pop the radio face completely out. And that's for that part. I gotta unplug everything and get the top part out, which I believe is held in by the bracket. But one second, I'll throw that one out. All right, so once you remove the radio, you're gonna have these little tiny holes, which are gonna be Allen key holes, and you just put the Allen key in these two holes and turn to the counterclockwise position and it should come right out which you already have so pull it out and unplug it all right got it all out now got the thing unplugged that big old plug is pretty tricky on these cars but we have got that out so now i'm gonna fight this thing and see if i can get this upper dash out or lower dash really out of here I did end up forgetting two screws. There's one right here on the end, and there's one which is gone now. I've taken it out right there on the corner. So don't forget those two screws when taking it out, but I went ahead and got that side out. You just kind of pull it out, and this side is the exact same. Look at there, on one hand motion. And that pretty much fulfills the lower dash removal. Access to pretty much everything in here under the steering wheel stuff but there you have it